Welcome to the Edible Classroom. Now, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lessons can be had with bean seeds because they're so fantastic. For a start, they're light. I've got a bean seed here. It's attached to a bean now, but I've got a bean seed here. And um, as you can see, they're large. So small fingers can hold these easily without any real headaches. And you don't have to have them rolling all off the desk and so on. And there's so much you can learn from this. First of all, as you can see, it's got a shoot and it's got a root and the root is as big as the shoot. Most children don't appreciate that there's probably just as much in the soil as there is, as there is above it. So, so you can get the children to explore the differences between, between roots and shoots and, and talk about, well, what's it for? What does the root do? You can even dissect this and cut the root off and cut the shoot off and weigh to see which one is the heaviest um, and you'll probably find that the root is always the heavier part so the majority of the plant children actually don't see so it's quite interesting where the leaf comes out of the stem it's called a node and you can measure the internodal length or the, the length between the leaves all the way along the plant and get the children to to map out if you like exactly where the leaves come out to see if there's a difference between the spaces at the bottom of the plant and the spaces at the top of the plant of course it's also good to simply have them growing flowering and fruiting so you've got that continuous thing going on there now these plants were set in pots by the children and it's very often much easier for you yourself to set them in in the ground than getting the children to do it because you've not always you've always got time to let them do it themselves but quite simply normally these would be grown in a double row outside but we neither have the space nor the ability to put them into a double row outside so they're coming into the polytunnel and that is where they'll stay the thing about these is that they will grow quite happily inside here as long as we keep them watered and they'll grow much quicker than they will have done outside so you can get to you can get to a fruiting stage much more quickly than you would ordinarily have done if you just left them outside. Within about two months these will have set flower and they will be ready to take off some of the seed pods. So all there is left to do to these now is to water them in and um, watch them grow a bit. <laughs> 